Hi everyone, it's Miss Carla and I'm here at the Palos Heights Public Library. Today we're going to do another fun STEM challenge. If you don't remember, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. There's a lot of ways that STEM affects your life and you don't even know it. But we're going to do a fun activity making boats. We're going to use some aluminum foil, which you can pick up here at the library, and then we're going to test our boats in the water and see how, they, how sturdy they are. So I'm going to turn the camera now and we're gonna make a few different kind of boats. So as I said, I have aluminum foil, which you can pick up here at the library. I have a ruler and I have some tape just in case I need it. You also might want some pens or, pap um, or paper, scrap paper just to make notes, but you don't have to. So what we're gonna do and what this activity recommends is we're gonna make a few different types of boats. And we are going to make sure that they are exactly twice the size of the first boat. So what I mean by that is this is where your ruler is going to come in. So I'm going to make a boat that's six inches by six inches. So here's how I want to do this. So this is about six inches. Close. You're just going to get sheets of tint foil, and then you can figure out how you can make your boat. Okay, so then this is 12 inches by six, roughly 6 inches. So, I'm actually, I should have gotten some scissors. I will be right back. Okay, have my scissors. So yes, you might want some scissors. So to make my boat 6 by 6, let's see. Oh, I have the ruler the wrong way. So that's about here. So I'm just going to snip this. Actually pretty close to going in half. So we have two squares that are roughly six by six. And I'm actually gonna use both of these squares. So first I'm gonna set those aside. Then I wanna make a bigger boat. So this one's gonna be 12 by 12. And this lengthwise is actually 12 inches, so now I'm going to measure this way, which is about here. Twelve by twelve. Okay, and then I'm going to get one more piece that's twelve by twelve. So I'm actually going to make twelve boats. Twelve. I'm sorry, four boats in total for comparison here. Let me cut some of this excess off. I'm just measuring so I'm gonna cut off some of this excess to make it more like a square it doesn't have to be perfect but it's just to try to get our dimensions similar so that the size of our boats are we can make comparisons okay now I've got my four squares so we're going to make we have a few different options here we can make a boat that looks like this more like a canoe shape which is more like a typical boat you would see Another option we have is, if I can find the right piece of paper, we can make a square boat. So I'm actually going to make one of each, and I want to do of the different sizes. So first I'm going to do the square boat with a bigger piece. And what I'm doing is just rolling the, the edges here and do that on the other side. And make, start making your predictions. Which boats do you think are going to be more sturdy? And why? And I did that about five or six times. So that's just me guessing. So you can always do more or less than me. Okay. And then I'm going to do that on the other side. Pinching the ends here. And you, this is where the tape might come in handy because you don't want any leaks in your boat. So if you just if you think that your boat could use some tape, this is where the, the tape is optional, but you definitely can use it. 
so I don't know. Let's see. I think I, this corner might give me some trouble. You can see that. This corner right here. But that's okay. We will see. So I've got the structure of the first one. Now I'm going to get one of my smaller squares and I'm going to make a, squ um, a square shaped boat with the smaller piece. And again, what are your predictions about which boats will be stronger? The bigger ones or the smaller ones and why? This boat is a lot smaller as, it were, as it's turning out. And you don't have to do these shapes either. These are just some suggestions. You can definitely make your own design. I would love it actually if you came up with your own ideas. Okay, there's my other square. Now I'm going to take my other big piece and I'm going to go for that canoe shape that we saw. So, let's see here. What's the best way to make that one? Thinking. Let's start with the back. And we will fold this guy in to make, kind of like you would fold a Christmas present. I'm folding these in, which I'm not the best at, to be honest. And I'm going to force this into a point, which obviously I'm not super good at, but maybe it'll be better. And it's going to look a little more like a canoe, hopefully. <laughs> That's the general idea. If you've ever been in a canoe. And I'm kind of just pulling over my edges, but also straightening them out so that they're, there's a side to the boat. And I am finding this a little bit diff more difficult, which is totally fine. You might be better at it than I am. Um, okay. Another tip, you might want to try to get your sides more even than mine. I have like a very low side right here that might cause problems for my boat. Pinching the tops. All right, now I'm going to get my bottom, my smaller one. I'm going to try a different approach for the corner. I'm going to try to go this way and make this the corner. Let's see if that helps. It might, it might not. This is just me making guesses. So in science, when you make a guess, that's called a hypothesis. So you can write down your hypothesis about which boats you think are going to be the best and why. Okay, this one I think turned out better, but it's very small. I think that one turned out better than this one, to be honest, but that's okay. I'm going to do a little more finessing with these boats. And now this is the time where you're going to take your tape and wherever you think it needs it. Like I think this corner is not together enough so I'm going to tape it. So this is where your tape may come in handy. I would go back and look at all your boats and see which ones need tape. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to add tape to some of my boats and then we're going to move over to the sink for the testing. I'll see you in a minute. And we're back. And you can see my sink is filled with water. I All my boat, boats did fit, which I was happy about. So I have these little toy bears that I'm going to use to test them. I'm going to start by putting one bear on each boat and see how they do. So remember what I said, what do you think, which boats do you think are going to work the best and why? Well, they each have one. And I'm going to go for two. And at home you can use a sink or if you have a big um, one of those buckets you could always put fill that with water. I just decided to use the sink for, to, for clean for easy cleanup. This would also be fun to do outside. Okay so I'm just going to keep adding bears and see what happens. And I think that boat might catch water first. That's just my guess. So far they're all doing better than I thought, actually. I thought some of them were going to catch water a lot sooner. Okay, 
I'm running out of bears, so I'm just going to focus on the smaller boats for now. I'm going to see how many we can get on there. You can use anything. You could use uh, pennies, you could use Legos, whatever little toys you have at home. So, which one do you think is going to go first? We're running out of space on our boat, but it's fitting a lot of bears. Oh, there we go. The, the canoe type boat went first. So now I'm going to focus on our bigger boats because and see which one of those boats survives longer. So I will say if you want to repeat this activity, the only thing is you will need new aluminum foil. As you can see, my aluminum foil is sinking, so now it's all wet and you it you don't want to keep using it. So you might want to if you have some at home, you can do make some new boats. So our big boats are doing better. Did anybody guess that? Any guesses why they're doing better? Okay. I am going to do a quick count and see which one is will hold more. So far, this one has more, so I'm going to keep adding. This one has about 22, or 24, and the square had about 21. So, I think in this case, the canoe boat is doing better, the bigger one, than the square. The square seems to be, it looks like it's going to take on water soon. So that is actually all of my bears, and my canoe is still going. So let's try our square and see how it does with all the bears. So there's a lot of things you could do with this activity. You could, you could keep designing and redesigning your boats. You could try adding different things to your boats. You could try different shapes. Like I said, I only did two different shapes today, but we could, you could definitely could do more. Okay, I think the square is getting a little heavy with all these bears. But it hasn't taken on water yet. So it's been, oh, my canoe just started to take on water. I'm not sure if you can see that. So. That's, there you go. That's the boat program. I hope you enjoyed. If you do a different design, please let me know. I'd love to see what you would come up with. Until then, I'll see you next time.